Lads, I have a confession to make. I am not good at Fatalis. I am also not good at Switch Axe. What I am good at, however, is combining the two and being incredibly lazy. So let's get lazy. I'm Symmetry, and here's how I cheese the arse off of Fatalis. Oh, and no, we are going to be doing this properly. No plunderangs. You need those evil eyes, so our goal here is to take the OG dragon down. First, some housekeeping for the fight, then we'll go into moves to punish and the set. Flint shots work very well for keeping Fatalis on all fours, and you could get a decent amount of damage by smacking him into a wall. A good opening strat that you probably will have seen already is entering the arena with the Gilly Mantle, unloading both cannons into Fatalis to cause a stagger, and from here, a tenderized and a combo to bring your sword gauge up is the best order of business before farcastering back to change your mantles. Next up, the phase changes. Fatalis will Nova in one form or another at certain health percentages, and these are 75, 50, 38, 20 and 5%. So it's important to know what to do during and after each. The first Nova will require you to run to the right hand side of the arena, and it's fairly forgiving timing, so just sheath and run and you should make it in time. Once your cover is broken, turn and run away from Fatalis to grab the binder before taking up arms on the roaming ballista. I usually dump the whole magazine into his chest for damage, which aim depending can often result in a dunk. The second Nova is a little more dicey. If you're wary, you can make sure that you keep the monster close to the center of the castle, as if your wind pressed when further away from the barricade you may not make it. However, at this point you'll either be very close to or have broken at least one horn already, and that's really going to make phase 3 a lot easier. Once the second Nova has finished, run to the right as you exit the safe zone and mount the ballista for a quick binder. It's worth noting that Fatalis will roar to signify the third phase, and this can be iframed with a well-placed roll. The first binder will allow you to set up another tenderize or a full sword combo depending on which is appropriate, and you can go right back into plugging the zero sums in from there. Finally, the last few Novas. Fatalis Fatalis will fly to the furthest side of the map and begin. Remember that the wind press will occur as he takes off, so a quick reaction roll can usually give you a head start. I usually run slightly diagonally to get out of the cone, however don't move too laterally in case you end up missing your window. The second binder will occur after the 38% Nova, and with enough aggression you'll get your 20% Nova soon after. This last 20% is when the Dragonator becomes available, and I implore you to use it. Finally, you'll know that you're almost done at the second horn break and the final Nova, since ZSD outputs so much that that last 5% is is nothing. Let's move on to the strategy and the set now. The core of this strat revolves around abusing three little letters, Z, S, and D. The zero-sum discharge that sword mode for switch axe gains can output a staggering amount of damage if you just simply spam it through clutch claw, and it allows you to pretty reliably break horns, one key goal of the hunt. So I threw together this little setup to begin with. I do have a Fatalis set available once you've managed to get a bit of the gear, and that really does put out a lot more damage. However, essentially you're looking to just maintain sword mode and plug away with claw as mentioned. Power, Prolonger and Focus are key here, as it takes just one combo to get the Amp Sword and stay there for a significant amount of time. Tool Specialist is also a welcome addition, as Temporal and Rocksteady allow you to blast through some of the single attacks and finish your full combo. But how about when the mantles are on cooldown? Even with higher levels of maintenance, you will time out if you just run around and wait for them to come back. The key to being able to continue your assault lies in two different things, the different fire attacks and your cat. The cat should be fairly self-explanatory, with Shield Spire drawing aggro, Vigor Wasp giving an extra card, and the Gajalaka item boosting the damage. I give Gavin here a paralysis weapon as well, as this can add up to one paralysis per hunt, which is quite useful. However, when clutching onto Fatalis' head, with the fire attacks, the projectiles will knock you off or consume some of your mantle, but the attacks that involve breath or a steady stream of fire will not knock you off. It's an important distinction as the huge cone breath or the vertical tick damage breath may look scary, but they're actually very large openings. And there you have it, the Black Dragon defeated. I hope this helps and serves as an example for how to best get your new gear. If this helped, hey, give us a sub and maybe check out my other stuff. Alright, see you later. Thank you.